it's really sad how movies are dying and games are dying, music is dying, uh, anime is dying, uh, shows are dying, basically almost everything is dying. Yeah, this is Derek Yasha, and I'm going to explain to you uh, why all these things are dying, basically. Alright, so first off, first, the movies, alright? Um, either they're too fucking lazy, or they're just stupid, and they just want to cash in on a fucking remake. Okay, sometimes remakes are good, alright? Like, take for instance... The Blob remake, the Fly remake, um, I would have to say, um, many more other remakes because I, on my mind right now, I just want to get this out, alright? Um, sometimes the sequels that they, um, release fucking suck nowadays, alright? Well, let's say if they was to make a sh sequel to a shitty movie that you fucking hated. And you go see it, but it's a lot worse than the first one. You get me? Yeah, it's like nobody wants to fucking see that shit. Or it's in the case where the first movie was good, but the sequel sucks ass. Okay? Like, let me explain. 300 was a very good movie, okay? That is one of my favorite movies of 07. But then, now, this year, uh, basically they released 300 Rise of the Empire, or Rise of an Epic Fail, as I like to call it. Yeah, that movie was a fucking letdown. That movie was trash. That movie was garbage, okay? And they, they didn't put a lot of love and care into it. They, they didn't uh, do shit for it, okay? Just saying, though. Um, they didn't put care into it. All they wanted to do was make their fucking money. That's it. Because if they really wanted to, to uh, make a sequel for the fans, they would have fucking did it. But no. Because uh, mainly, the movie just feels forced, okay? As the story feels forced, the cursing feels forced in it. Because you gotta have modern day cursing in it for some odd reason. Even though the movie takes place back in the fucking day. And then there's just those ones that you want to fucking forget about. Okay, just saying though. There's those ones where you just want to fucking forget about. And I, and I can understand why. Okay, basically. I mean, shit. Half of uh, the stuff last year was fucking forgettable. Uh, there was only some good movies. Uh, excuse me. I guess talking about bad, shitty movies is giving me gas, alright? But it's just going to be sad how there's not going to be any more good movies in movie theaters. Yeah, you get those good ones once in a great while, or sometimes, not all the times, okay? But what did we get last year? Okay, we got the Evil Shit remake, basically. And we got shitty horror movies, okay? Just saying that we got shitty horror movies except for um, Insidious Chapter 2, which I really like Insidious Chapter 2, and that's not a shit movie. But I'm just saying, though, when you look back on it, look how many shit movies came out uh, throughout the, the years, okay? And look how many good movies came out. And those good ones are only, like, Five or six, basically. And the rest is just like a lot of garbage, a lot of pile of shit. Like, I mean, this year, okay, um, for me, you had one gym, and that was Ride Along, all right? And I love, I like that movie, but, uh, Robo fucking shit, Robo shit, Rise of the Gay Robots, hell fucking no, okay? Um, basically, um, hmm, sorry about the motorcycle, <sighs> whatever. Um, 
I don't know what to tell you guys, but all I know is, um, from here, it's just gonna be downhill movies, okay? And that's why I'm just gonna stick with the old movies, okay? Old, classic movies like this, because, for me, they don't let me down, alright? Basically, this is good horror, this is good action, this is good comedy, this is good drama, this is good fantasy, okay? Basically, because what I understand from, they don't give a shit about us anymore, basically. They really fucking don't. All they want to fucking do is make a cash grab, grab our cash, get rich, fuck a couple of hookers, fuck a couple of man hookers, whatever, if, the, if uh, they're uh, female um, publishers for the movie, whatever, okay? That's all they're fucking doing it for, alright? They really don't care about us, they don't really give a shit about us, because if they did, they would listen to the fans, basically. And then we wouldn't have that, uh, the thing pre-make, prequel, pre-come, like Matt says. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, though, like, it's just like, how could you, uh, release shit? But then again, we have the old movies, so we don't have nothing to worry about, even if, um, there's no more movies in the movie theaters. We still have uh, these great gems, these great classics. Okay? Moving on. I actually would say games and anime. Okay? Even though that, whatever. Alright, so let me talk about games first. Okay? Um, games? Games are just fucking dead now. Alright? What? When they fucking released the Xbox 360, basically. That's what started it all. That's what started the downhill, if you're gonna understand what I mean. Like, look at it this way, okay? Like, the only two good games on that fucking system is Gears of War and Saints Row. And that's it. Gears of War Trilogy and Saints Row 1 and 2. Alright? Everything else is good, or it's okay, or it's just like, blech. Okay, let me just explain something. Or right, you had terrible games on there, such as uh, Legend, or whatever it was called, uh, Legendary. I get a smack on the head, let me fix my hat, I'm sorry about that. Legendary, Duke Nukem Forever. And, uh, many other shit games as well, okay? I mean, on the PS3, the PS3 was nothing but a shit library, except for Uncharted 1 and 2. That's it, because Uncharted 3 was fucking terrible, god-awful, alright? I'm just saying, though. <sighs> Jesus, man, what the fuck? Like, how could you release terrible game? Just saying, though, what, like, Layer and Haze and many more other games, okay? I'm just saying, though, it's just, like, fucking stupid. And then, of course, you got the new gen systems, like, the fucking... Xbox One, which is a terrible piece of fucking dog shit, and is a letdown of a fucking system. Of course, the PS4, which is a fucking letdown of a system, and thus the fact they don't have any good games on there at all, just like that fucking Xbox One. And, of course, you got the terrible Wii fucking U. Okay, but let me go back to this. The Wii, the Wii was a fucking terrible system. All it was was a fucking kiddies toy that parents would buy for their kids so that their kids would shut the fuck up, basically. There was nothing else, but let's get back to it. Okay, so 
you have three terrible systems from last year and this year, okay, which is, I don't really have to explain it, but you have ter the terrible systems and games that come along with it. Okay, but if you look at back in the day, uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, okay, N64, PS1, PS2, Dreamcast, and um, GBA, okay, just saying though, like all those fucking game systems and games, those all those was fucking good, okay, all of them was good, alright, just saying though. Those, those games would not let you the fuck down if you picked them right. But if you if you did not, then yeah, it let you down a little bit, but you were still fucking satisfied with your fucking system and your games, okay? Like, hell, I'm satisfied with most of the PS2 games that I have. I'm satisfied with most of the Super Nintendo games I have. I'm satisfied with my Sega Genesis games. I'm satisfied with some of the old systems that I have, okay, I'm satisfied with them, but the newer ones, no, because that Xbox 360 is just a brick to me, I don't play that shit anymore, I'm just saying though, but um, let's move on to um, shows, okay, um, shows, Shows, like, shows are fucking, was good back in the day, but if you look at it now, it's just, like, all fucking, uh, reality shit, or shit that you don't even fucking want to watch, or documentaries, or shit like that. No, we, back in the day, we had good shows, okay? Either if it was Full House, or Family Matters, or Step by Step or Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, okay, you would have to tune into one of your shows, because they would come on all at the same time, okay, whether if you wanted to watch Full House, or whether you wanted to watch Fresh Prince, <sighs> but then, we jump to now, whereas in, okay, the only thing I want to fucking watch is the Food Network, because, I just have to learn how to cook and stuff like that, basically. And the only interesting shows is probably um, Pawn Shop or Pawn Stars, my mistake, you know, smack. Pawn Stars or basically Storage Wars or let's just say for me, Good Eats. I like Good Eats, okay, but. I won't watch any other show on TV. All right, I don't. I won't watch any other shows because every other shows is just crap. All right, and cartoons. Cartoons used to be awesome back in the day, but not anymore. Not the fuck anymore. And it's just really sad. Okay, because we had such good cartoons in the nineties, such as fucking Cow and Chicken. Okay, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Um, I would say Hey Arnold, All Real Monsters, uh, Ren and Stimpy, Cat Dog, and much more as well, including uh, the superhero animated shows such as Batman the Animated Series and Spider Man the Animated Series. And those are really good, whereas in, you look at now, what, well, you have a shitty Avengers cartoon, and a shitty Spider-Man cartoon, and the shitty CGI Turtles cartoon, which I would rather prefer the O3 version, okay? I like the O3 version the best, alright? I mean... The 80s Turtles cartoon was okay. I'm okay with that one, but I just love the O3 Turtles a lot more. All right, I just love them a lot more. All right. But getting back on topic, you have sucky shows today. Seriously, you you really do. All right, you really fucking do. And 
it's just really sad. It's just really sad because we we grew up with these good shows, okay? We really did. We grew up with these good cartoons. And now I'll just move on to anime, all right? I mean, we had good animes, all right? Don't get me wrong. We had good animes, all right? We had fucking Sailor Moon. We had uh, Roni Kenshin. We had uh, Tenchi Muyo. We had all of that, basically. Um, Some of those I like. Some of those I don't like, all right? Like, for instance, like, Gundam Wing, I really don't like that show. DBZ, I don't really like that anime. Okay. What was I saying show? I just meant to say anime. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Um, you had plenty of good animes uh, on uh, Toonami. But now, as you look at anime now, it's just fucking dead because it's overrated as shit. Okay, with some of the new animes, all right? With fucking Fairy Tail and One Piece and Naruto and fucking Bleach and other animes that nobody really fucking likes, except for those fans and peoples, okay? As in, for me, I only like good anime. I don't like garbage trash anime, all right? I mean, I'll tell you my top five right now, all right? Number one has to be Inuyasha. Number two has to be Full Metal Alchemist. Number three has to be the Mar anime, even though that it has terrible filler in it and some good filler. Um, number four has to be, I guess you would have to say the Devil May Cry anime series. And number five would have to be the Boondocks because that's considered an anime, American anime. Yeah, that's my top five right there, and that, that sums it up, because everything else is just okay, or lackluster, or boring, basically. Whereas in, I don't really want to fucking watch this, what, Attack on Titan? That's such a bullshit show, no, I'm not gonna fucking watch that shit, okay? The concept and the story sounds fucking stupid and dumb and fucking retarded, no offense to the people that like the show. But for me, I really don't like that show. I actually hate it. And the last anime to come out that was good was fucking Zatman. And that's it, basically. Because everything else just fucking sucks. Or it's boring, or it's stupid, or I don't really fucking care about it. Yeah, but at least we got the old fucking animes, okay? Yeah, at least we got that. And I guess the last one is music, even though I did not get them in order right. I'm just saying, though, but... Music fucking sucks now. Okay, let's just face it. I mean, you, you had good music back in the day, in the early 80s, and the mid-80s, the late 80s, the early 90s, the mid-90s, and the late 90s, of course. And the early 2000s, because other than that, after 2005, there would be some okay music, and then there would be just be garbage music. Let's just face it, okay? Let's just fucking face it. Because what? If you want to bring up music right now, well, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about fucking Soldier Boy. We're going to fucking talk about uh, fucking Justin Bieber. What? We're going to talk about Nicki Minaj. And nobody really fucking cares about that shit. Okay? Whereas in back in the day, we care about uh, Michael Jackson. We cared about Tupac. We cared about Biggie. We cared about, uh, as you would say, Eminem. When Eminem was good, uh, you would care about Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg. Um, you would care about Madonna. You would care about Stacey Q. You would, you would care about... Um, everyone that, that, that did music, okay, but just as of now, fuck Taylor Swift, man, fuck Nicki Minaj, um, Beyonce is a fucking sellout now, seriously, she's a fucking sellout, whereas in, back in the day, she was really good, but man, does, um, Drunk Love suck, whatever that song is called, called, that sucks, okay, just saying, though, because mainly it's trying to 
appeal to the new generation. Okay, I've been going on for way too long. So, yeah. I'm out. Peace.